Is it working? Yeah. Hey, everybody. I'm Thea, and um, Amelia, Lauren, and Emma are going to be reading my piece called Alex and Jordan. Um, it's eventually going to be a short film. Enjoy. Interior, studio, apartment. Alex and Jordan enter their apartment, each with their own suitcase. On the wall is a University of Iowa poster. Jordan tosses their keys in the key dish, sets their suitcase down, and rushes to the bathroom. Alex breathes for a beat. I miss the plants. Alex begins watering the plants. They have the following conversation from either side of the closed bathroom door. Do the plants need water? I got it. You sure? Yeah. You sure? I heard you. Why would I not be sure? What? How about we wait to have this conversation until you're done? I have no idea what you said. Oh my God. The plants have been watered. I got it. It's done. Jeez. Sorry. Positive thoughts, babe. I can't hear you. My apologies. It's fine. Sorry. My nerves are fried. What's Friday? No. Friday. I, not Friday. You know what? Never mind. Hang on. I'm almost done. <sighs> Alex puts the can away, looks at Jordan's suitcase, and unpacks as the toilet flushes, and the sink turns on and off. Jordan exits the bathroom, removes their shoes and coat, grabs a bag of chips from the cupboard, and sits on the bed with a laptop. Mm, suitcase? I'll get it. Just taking a quick peek at the news. Alex sighs. Jordan looks up, notices that Alex is annoyed, and shakes the bag of chips invitingly. You want a chip? I really don't. Oh, you really don't? Okay. Jordan crunches loudly for several seconds. Alex finally gives it. God, you are an aggravating person. Jordan <laughs>, laughs and holds out the bag to Alex. And yet somehow your aggravation has softened to fondness once again. Jordan leans in to kiss Alex on the cheek. Guess I was really hungry. Right, that must be it. Alex laughs and goes back to unpacking their suitcase. Jordan shuts their computer and stretches deeply before standing to put the chips away. When they open the cupboard door, it falls off the bottom hinge. Oh? Alex looks up. What? Can you grab the toolbox for me? Yeah, sure. Alex does so and goes back to their suitcase. Actually, could you grab the step stool too, please? Alex sighs, but grabs the stool and sets it up. Jordan kisses them on the cheek and begins to work. Alex looks at the forgotten suitcase after a beat. Are there things you need in there? What? Your suitcase. Are there not items you will soon require in it? I mean, yeah. So, did you plan on unpacking it at any point? Well, sure, but I'm going to fix this first. Sure, sure. Jordan grabs the vacuum cleaner. Oh, boy. Jordan takes items out of the cupboard. Alex waits for something. An explanation, perhaps, when none is forthcoming. What you doing? Figured I may as well clean it out while I'm up here. <sighs> it's not the best time for that. Why wouldn't it be? Well, for one thing, it's like 1 a.m. and I'm uh, trying to... I'm not trying to piss off our neighbors on our first night back. You mean the people of a literal rave every Wednesday? Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. Jordan turns on the vacuum and attacks the shelves at the most awkward angle imaginable. After several beats of futile vacuuming. Okay, but like, can you wait? Jordan turns off the vacuum. What? People are sleeping, babe. Great, noted. Jordan turns on the vacuum. I'd really love if we waited. Jordan turns off the vacuum. What? I should have clarified by people, I meant that I will soon be sleeping. Jordan sets the vacuum down forcefully. Well, excuse the hell out of me for not wanting to sleep in a big sigh. Okay, wow. One faulty kind of door and it does not make a pigsty. But what about all the rest of this stuff? The counter is overrun with canned goods. Yeah, and whose fault is that? What are you saying, babe? I'm not trying to say anything, babe. It just seems like you made this a bigger problem than it needed to be. Well, sometimes you need to make a bigger mess of things before you can attack the root of the problem. Sensing Jordan is getting worked up, Alex moves toward them. They need to get messy, huh? They do, yeah. I heard it on a podcast. I love that. Alex kisses Jordan deeply before pulling away and resting their, hand, their head on Jordan's chest. You know, I really love New York. Mm. We could visit again. Huh? Would visit New York again because I, I loved it. Like, might want to live there, look kind of loved it. Jordan moves back to the cupboard. Alex goes back to unpacking, starting to hang items in the closet. I just feel like we could really start our lives there, you know? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not talking about moving tomorrow, but maybe we could add to the five year plan. Jordan prints their back to see inside the second shelf. 
that's yeah that could be fun hey does this look like a mold wait hold on that could be fun you don't have anything more to offer during stops and looks at alex look i can't give you my undivided attention right now because i'm pretty sure i just found mold in our food no cupboard. this requires give me a minute your undivided we'll attention talk. actually i said that requires your undivided attention what? i require your undivided attention please I'm sorry, I just can't focus on anything while this is happening. You made that amply clear, regrettably. I'm gonna need you to tear your attention away for that for a sec and focus on our future, our life. I'm sorry? Alex hangs the last piece of clothing, zips the suitcase shut, and puts it in the closet. Yeah, you said that already, but you're still- No, no, that wasn't an apology. Alex freezes and starts throwing clothes back in the suitcase haphazardly. Oh, thank God. You're obviously not very good at them. What is your issue? My issue is that I asked you several times to wait until morning for this, and you refused to acknowledge my position on the matter. So my new issue is that I am awake, and you are awake, and I've been trying to have this conversation with you all weekend. You keep dodging the question, clean the cabinet. Don't clean the cabinet. I do not care, but let me know when you've made a decision when you make a decision so we can talk about the fact that our future is starting to look like a pipe dream this is not constructive criticism babe babe you don't say jordan moves toward alex and takes their hands gently i know you're tired jordan's voice fades out as alex catches a photograph of the two of them they were caught in a hand moment of genuine joy maybe dancing alex realizes that for all the frustrations and arguments they love this person and want to be with them they take a deep breath look at the suitcase they've been packing and shut it but you don't need to be a bitch. Alex has a big never mind moment and reopens the suitcase, throwing the last of their clothes inside. <laughs> well, this bitch would be asleep right now if it weren't for your incessant vacuuming. You want to talk about New York? Fine. Let's talk about New York. I don't want to move. Is it settled? Are we done? Can I continue fixing our cabinet without distraction, please? I actually don't want to talk about New York in a minute. You might have gathered from the fact that I am repacking this suitcase, presumably to leave, but good to know that I'm just a distraction. Your partner, five years school, that major life decision that involved me only pretty much uh, permeate or your conscious permeate your consciousness as a distraction. That's not what I meant. I'm just not in the right headspace to talk about major life decisions right now. And I was trying to convey that through my tone and general lack of interest. Your lack of interest doesn't make the problem go away. How do you not understand that? But you know what? You're suddenly in the right headspace to talk. Praise be. Let's talk. Let's talk about something that is immediately relevant to your life we share together. Or I'm walking out that door and I'm not coming back. How is the functionality of this mm. cabinet not immediately relevant? Alex slams and zips the suitcase, moving toward the door and putting on their coat and shoes. Just to be clear, if you were to die from ingesting black mold tomorrow, that would make this immediately relevant. I'm done. I'll make arrangements for the rest of my things later. Alex leaves, slamming the door behind them. Jordan picks up the vacuum with renewed vigor. Fades black. 